I've been climbing for about 15 years. My dad got me into climbing. Um, he was a pretty keen climber back in the day. Dragged me up some big scary routes when I was about 11. <laughs> it's taken me to some really amazing places. It motivates me to get out and explore parts of Scotland and parts of the world that otherwise I might not have gone to. And just that real sense of adventure and journeying, and whether that's on your own, in your own head, and with your own body, that kind of mind-body connection, or whether it's part of a team, um, it's pretty, pretty special. It's hard. Well, I started out, uh, my, my first experience, I guess, uh, was winter climbing. Um, so that was a, uh, that's always kind of a challenge in itself, I guess, just kind of because you're facing the elements. There's just the, there's nothing like the wind in Scotland um, in the winter time. Yeah, we hit it off there, and this Jen is unbelievably psyched to do things, and like, right, we need to we need to get this girl out and do some do some climbing together. <laughs> it's um, like I'll bring the snacks. <laughs> great. <laughs> Usually when I arrive at a, a problem or a route that I've never seen or done before, quite an important part of you know, succeeding at that is to visualise the, the route or problem beforehand. So what I would usually do is I would, I would have a glance at the route and get a kind of idea of where it goes and then I might break it down and work through each move. When I'm on a big climb, I'm usually pretty focused, um, so I'm not really thinking about much apart from each move. And I guess that's the, the special thing about climbing is that it's so engaging that you can escape from everything else. It's a way of kind of grounding myself in the present moment. I guess that's, that's what it gives me. It gives me a way of, of escaping the stuff that doesn't matter. Scared? Yeah. <laughs> you obviously get a lot more used to heights, uh, especially when you get in the zone, you don't really think about it. So you'll get really kind of focused and you'll be like, oh, I'm really high. Uh, but yeah, no, it's scary, but that's kind of the fun of it, I guess. Heights don't bother me, but I guess when you do, when you start exploring your limits, then you start to kind of push um, every aspect of climbing. So not just the physical difficulty, it really comes down to um, a sort of meditation or just being present and really, really focused on the task at hand or maybe just really kind of dug deep and, and found a kind of strength or like secret power that I didn't know I had through putting myself into those scary situations. But yeah, it's, it's definitely something that climbers, like every climber will explore and it's whether it's how far you push it um, that kind of determines the, the outcome I guess. <laughs>